Hey, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. We're going to do something a little different here. We're going to look at some time stamps in a game. and I'm going to illustrate something that's incredibly important in this game. And if you have any desire to get better at it, this is something you need to learn and internalize because it really is digging down to the core of this game. We're going to call it Collapse, Initial Positioning, and the Folly of Passiveness. Collapse, Initial Positioning, and the Folly of Passiveness. So you can tell that we are at 1328, loaded into Mountain Pass. So we've done about a minute and a half of this battle, and it's in a 510 Tier 9 and Tier 8 battle. When you look at the deployment, and I've got the mini-map about as big as you can get, on Mountain Pass, it's an interesting map because there are two very foolish places to go. Number one is playing peek -a boom and staring down this big alleyway which has almost zero ability to advance from either side, even if there's only one or two tanks there. The second one is you've got the IS-6 and the Chrysler GF who are attempting to push up the ice road, another very difficult place to push. And then, of course, the main event, which is down here in the southwest, you can see that some of our mediums and our Tier 9 scout have jammed themselves up into this corner. So because it is a Tier 9 and Tier 8, let's take a look at the initial positioning of our 9s what it's doing for us. Remember, I called this Collapse, Initial Positioning, and the Folly of Passiveness. Type 61 is one of our Tier 9s. He's right here. He is actually on the move, but he was initially taking a look down here. So he chose to initially position a place where he could snipe, which is not very useful. The object is sitting on this corner. Sometimes you can get shots across here, sometimes, but after that, when there are no longer any lights over there, this again is a useless position. The AC-48, and that's actually the tortoise, are sitting up on our hill waiting for somebody to come around the corner. Unfortunately, the IS-6 and the Chrysler have proven nobody's going to do that for the foreseeable future. These two are out of the game. The scout, I believe, loaded in late, and he's moving at this point. So what we have brought to the actual fight that matters are these four guys who are now pushed up back against this corner here with no kind of support from any of our heavies. T-34s over here or the rest of our Tier 9s. So let's take a timestamp and move forward. And we get to this point where I am now moving away from this ramp because I have zero support right there, and I'm coming this way. Now this ramp is good, and I was lighting potentially for the 704, but there wasn't much going on there, which is why I left. And you can see that the enemy now for the main event is pushing down around here. We'll address me for the moment. Ideally, I would be down here, but I came across to see if I could get some lights and get some shots. I should be also right over here. But take a look at the team. The tortoise is moving forward. The AMX is still sitting up there. And now we have these three pushing into a T-95, Tiger II, and Centurion, which this is never going to work. And it's why you don't go this way and push. This is inconclusive. People have left. But now the T-34 is sitting there. And the enemy team has sent basically a main force around this corner and are now, because they don't have much danger over here, sweeping this up. The Type 61, good on him, has moved across here. Next timestamp. Got people clicking over here, saying what on earth. They're attempting to push into a Sturve and a T-95. They've taken themselves out of the battle. The Tortoise is slowly moving this way. He's been out of the battle now for three minutes, or two minutes and 15 seconds. The object has run away. Why? Because the southwest has fallen. And now he's going back to camp. The AC was never in the game, and the Bat Chat and T-34 are awaiting their fates. You can see now that we've moved to 12, 28. The initial positioning is really starting to tell. We had a bad deployment, and we've completely lost the southwest. They own this entire part of the map. We're stuck behind this rock, and we don't even have anybody now looking down this road. And pretty soon, whatever was over here can start moving in. These guys have found that it is, in fact, difficult to push against guys on the ice road. Next time stamp, the ice road is pushing. They've been eaten up, and now the tortoise is down here alone and unafraid. I am somehow still alive, but not for long. And now the rest of these tanks are moving in and sweeping these guys up. And now for the collapse, I'm still alive. You can see it's getting worse, and we're starting to lose tanks. They've come through the middle. And now they've got us stuffed back into the corner. And really, at this point, it's all over but the shouting. There's a bit of an effort by the 704 and the AC-48. 
to handle what's going on down at the cap, but of course there's just too many enemy tanks and our initial deployment got us there. So collapse, you've seen us collapse. The initial deployment is in fact the reason that that happened to include where I went, at least initially. In theory, as a tier 8 medium, I shouldn't have been that important, but one thing I do preach is getting to the most important place on the map, regardless of your tank. So choosing to go up to that center ramp would have been nice if the enemy hadn't pushed such a strong force down there, but guess what? You should expect that. That is the most important part of the map. Their initial deployment was superior to ours. They had a couple tanks that made some of where they went work better for them. T95, especially on the ice road, is just not going to have much of an issue. Even against the tier, what is it, 9 Artie that we had, he may have taken a few hits, but that didn't really matter. And now at the end of the day here, we are just going to lose wholesale. So remember, this is extremely important. Your initial position does matter. If it is initially a passive position, which relies on either your team to do well or the enemy team to be foolish and push into you, it's probably not that good of a position. If you are one of the tier 9s in a 510, it is critically important that you go someplace where you can bring your gun into the battle as soon as possible, i.e. the tortoise sitting back and camping while heavies push around a corner and prove nobody is there. I hope this helped. This is getting into kind of master's level stuff, but if you do want to improve at this game, this is one of those things you need to start understanding, and it is very important to becoming better. Hope you learned something. Hope you like what you heard. If you did, make sure you subscribe, and we will see you.